I've always enjoyed being outside, starting from uh, early days of camping. I enjoy being here with the inspiration that is around me to capture the feeling, the energy. It's a true artist palette. Hi, I'm Tony Price. I'm an artist in the North Georgia mountains and I'd like to welcome you to my studio on this beautiful fall afternoon. There are many things in this environment I discovered oil painting uh, a little later in life than most of my colleagues have. I uh, began always being creative. I've uh, been an interior decorator. I've done stained glass. I've had a lot, of, um, a lot of adventures with creativity, and I found that I really had an affinity with the paint and the feel and the whole ritual of setting up the paints and getting ready to create a canvas. Finding inspiration for a painting is uh, it's not a big challenge. It's uh, eliminating the inspirations to find just the one that speaks to me. When I begin a painting, I always start with a sketch. This details dark, medium, and light value. Once I've decided that, I work on the color palette so that when I get to the easel and start laying out my paint, I know pretty much where each color is going to go within that painting. The finished product could take anywhere from two days to two weeks, two hours. It depends on the complexity of the painting and quite honestly, the motivation to complete it. Another opportunity to find inspiration is in my garden. I love uh, planting colors of oranges and purples next to one another, things that are in direct contrast with one another in my garden. It creates a year-round burst of color no matter what the season. Getting my artwork in front of others to observe and admire it, hopefully purchase it, is uh, it's a daunting process. Several years ago, I was browsing through the internet and I came across a website called Vita. It offers artists the opportunity to take their original artwork and have it transferred onto scarves, tote bags, placemats. And in this example I'm showing you here, this is a small appetizer plate. The name of this painting is called Gratitude. It was recently on display at the Brass Town Resort and Spa right up here in North Georgia. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I sold a painting that's now on display. I have two more also in this resort area. To access more of my artwork, I do have a website online. In addition, there is a Vita website that showcases my apparel and tote bags. My goal as an artist is to capture the mountains, the color, put it on canvas, 
and express it to people who don't have opportunity to see this kind of fall color. Many people don't have opportunity to travel and this is an inspiration for me. The challenge for me in this was to paint the wooden box on the lower right hand corner of this painting. Every time I would paint that box it would look like a loaf of bread. If that box wants to be a loaf of bread, then you make it be a loaf of bread because whoever is looking at that, they're not going to know. They're not going to know that there wasn't bread on that table. I know, it kept looking like a loaf of bread. That's why I did it. Now, you see, it's supposed to be a loaf of bread, but it was supposed to be a box. 